everybody Tulsa Mike 3434 here uh, this is a little intro video to the video you're fixing to see uh, I found on YouTube um, I know the woman is joking in the video uh, it's pretty funny but the sad thing the sad true reality of this whole of her whole video is that I know people that actually think that way my own sister thinks that way she's been on welfare never worked a day in her life healthy as me and you never worked a day in her life my children's mother never worked a day in her life always on welfare her mother never worked a day in her life had six kids never worked a day in her life got plenty of money on welfare lived the high life I just want to say and I'm sorry if I offend anybody by saying this. Um, I work hard for my money, and it's not free. My brother-in-laws work hard for their money. They're a couple of the most hardest working men I've ever met in my life. The most dedicated men I've ever met in my life to their jobs and their families. And my wife is just like them. And, you know, we all work hard for our money, and we pay for food stamps. We pay for Obamacare. We pay for your government housing. While you're sitting back watching your 52 inch screen TV, we're all working our asses off just to have a 46 inch screen TV. I don't get it people. I don't understand how someone can actually think this way. I know the lady like I said before in the in this video that you're about to see is joking but there are real people out there that think this way it's not a color thing it's black white Mexican you know people come from out of this country that don't even aren't even born here and get welfare and that's what Obama wants he wants everybody to depend on the government so he can have control law-abiding citizens they register their guns and guess what Hitler did the same thing he they registered all their guns they're law-abiding citizens so they went down and registered their guns and I believe a quote from Hitler was how to take control of a country we must first disarm it so he knew where to go get all the guns Everybody was a law-abiding, good, hard-working citizen. They registered their gun. He came and took it. Look what happened. It's happening right now, folks. I'm not an extremist. I'm not a crazy person. It is happening right now. Anyway, you know, I work hard for my money. My family works hard. My wife works hard her brothers are two of the hardest working guys I've ever met in my life dedicated to their families they love their families and it makes them work even harder they go to work sick rain shine doesn't matter my sister a lot of people on my side of the family are all fucking bums they don't work haven't worked a day in their life and it makes me sick anyway just wanted to give you a little heads up on how I feel about this please please feel free to comment especially if you're one of them people that are sitting at home on welfare with internet high-speed internet access that you don't deserve because you didn't work and pay for it please I'd like to hear your comments on this and I do believe that uh, almost everything she says in the video is true that's what I have to say about that sorry if I uh, offended anybody but there you have it peace out Girl Scout Tulsa Mike 3434 checking out enjoy 
Hello, this is Kalander, not your mother, on a bomber. <laughs> and guess what, people? I love President Obama. Yes, I do. I love President Obama. And guess what? And guess what? I voted for him. Do you want to know why I voted for him? Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Because he black. He black, he black, he black. He black, he black, he black. Yes, I said it. I said it again. I voted for him because he was black. Yes, I did. And guess what? I'm going to get me some health care. Show enough is. Show enough. I don't know why you're looking at me. You need to be at work so you can pay for my health care. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I L-O-V-E. I T it. Yes, I do. I'm getting health care. Ain't got no job. I love America. I love me some America. Me and my seven children. All oh, seven of my children going to get some health care now. Show sure enough. Sign the bill, honey. Sign the bill. <laughs> so, anywho, that's all I got to say about it. And if you don't like President Barack Obama, if you don't like him, then you is a racist. Yes, I said it. You is a racist. Uh-huh. Yeah, you are. Because you know what? President Obama is doing good by me. Uh-huh. Now, yes, I can. Get sick now. <laughs> so, y'all keep going to work. Making all that money because your taxes is helping me and my chillings. All right, over now. Thank you. I love America. To conclude this video, I would like to say one more thing. Um, to all the people that are hardworking out there and uh, pay their taxes, kudos to you and thank you. Um, don't give up. Hopefully it'll get better someday. Hopefully they'll find a way to stop the corruption and stop the abuse of government assistance programs. Schooling. People abusing their college money. All sorts of stuff going on. The links below are really good reads. I suggest you read them. Um, for some of you, you'll probably use them to your advantage and uh, do some of the things you'll probably learn how to better abuse the government assistance but anyway um, that's my thoughts on it check out the links below and uh, one more thing um, the sad thing is is that people that really do need assistance like um, I don't know about 12, 13, 14 years ago, um, my kids' mom drove 1,900 miles, dropped my kids off on my front door, and I was paying child support faithfully every month and paying my taxes, and uh, she was still collecting welfare when I had my kids. I was a single parent for five years, seven years, sorry. And when I needed help, I was working my ass off, barely paying my bills, barely being able to feed my children. And when I asked for help, I couldn't get it. And I was paying taxes and working. So I think that's another thing we need to fix. The people that really need the help should get the help. I think there should be drug tests for all people that are on any kind of government assistance. From college assistance to food stamps to SSI, any government programs, there should be drug tests. But like I said, most of the people that do need it and are working and need a little bit of help. I don't think they should be able to be on welfare for 10, 15 years. I think you should be able to be on welfare for, you know, a small amount of time. So until you get on your feet, get a second job, whatever you need to do to get back on back thing, things on track. And then let someone else enjoy the benefit of having a little bit of help. 
But don't abuse it. People, come on. Don't abuse it. It's there to help people that are in need. I was in need at one time and got denied. I don't get it. This is not why I'm making this video. I'm not mad about it. I got through it on my own. Second job. I made it. But my point is for this whole video, the joke in the the ladies joking video, the sad thing about it, everything she said in there, people really believe it. People really act that way. And um, it's a really sad thing. And it needs to be fixed ASAP. I love you, America. And by the way, thank you to everybody that's in our armed forces fighting for our freedom, fighting for the freedom so people can abuse the freaking government's assistance. But I do want to thank you, all the veterans that have fought for our country. God bless you all. God bless America. And I want to thank each and every man and woman that is in Iraq and overseas and in any war zone, Afghanistan right now, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. God bless you and thank you for every day, every breath you take because it's because of you I'm here being able to make this video. God bless you all. Peace out. Tulsa Mike 3434. I'm out.